it's pouring the rain down and the water dropped and I came and walked some gravel bars out in the river and uh, look here it's hard to see you can see all this stuff this is the original edge of the water and you can see how far it's out there it's a good ways it's dropped that much but you can see this line here of seaweed that was the water level like yesterday morning or something it's dropped and this probably a boat come by and wash this out of the gravel but there's a palmer point right here you can see it let's pull it out and pray this is whole uh, it's got an impact I think but it's still all right yep it's an impact on that one that's still pretty cool that's a shot one that's definitely um, classic impact well, I'll get back if I find anything else later kind of cool little drill kind of nice later back how I found it you know I see this stone laying here and it's you know look at it it's long and weird looking and I saw these lines engraved in it well there's all sharpening lines here they're worn away but and right here it was covered in with dirt is a nutting stone hole well I go well I better flip that over well I flip it over and there's some work on the side there I saw and BAM two holes right here and another one here and look how cool this one is Wow I'm taking this definitely that is awesome I've never seen one that's long like this but anyway later a few pieces uh, heck of a wash and stuff and I've got this place picked over so that'll probably be all the finds for today I might too do a few screens while I come back up to here see it's I'm safe. Um, I guess I found a drill there and a little impact fractured air head and the nutting stain it's pretty nice it's a unique one um, but anyway I'll get back on in a few days when I hunt again with something good hopefully I'm about due for about a three and a half inch four inch rated point or a big lance or something nice um, see there's some fire rock coming out look at this fire earth coming out you know this one came out right here you can see within the last six months and there's arrowheads and stuff associated with it and the next high water or the one after that will wash this stuff out in the river and it'll be lost forever that's why I do what I do save this stuff before it becomes river gravel and gets all busted up um, Hopefully I can find something else here, but I'm only going to stay like 20 minutes, so if there's any a couple finds on there and a nutting stain, that's it. So I'll see you here in a couple days later.